Welcome in my rabbit hole. I'm Laura and I have booked a ticket to the Dutch Pen Show in June. And what I want to do is I want to prepare some happy mail as well as I think I'm going to show you uh, preparing some wish lists for the, for the Pen Show and yeah, some other stuff. But today I'm here um to show you some goodies that i've already put together so these are some postcards by moblon these i got just in a moblon shop they were just giving them out and i thought it would be fun to give them to some fountain pen people then next i have some um, postcards that came with my book binding supplies when I ordered some um, waxed linen thread for like book binding uh, from Sashu. I cannot pronounce this. This is a, um, a French company, a French shop, and they have included these beautiful postcards. So I want to give them also. Um, to some pen friends and then last but not least i have this postcard and it's like a business card of sorts from a german um fountain pen fountain pen guy uh, that i have met at some pen shop but i cannot remember if it was the munich pen show last year or the nuremberg pen show i I honestly don't recall, but it's from um, Füllhalter Zentrale, and I think this is a really, really beautiful postcard. Um, yeah, so then I wanted to show you that I've already sorted through the stuff. Oh my gosh, um, this is also a preview um, to the upcoming um, swatching, like the, the, the swatching videos that already came out and that still will come out where I'm swatching all of my ink collection from top to bottom. That was a lot of work. <laughs> but um, at the time you were seeing this, they the videos uh, didn't come out yet probably. So um, yeah, so I wanted to do this parallel because I think like uh, 10 thousands of uh, swatching videos after each other would be a bit lame. So I'm trying to like, you know, switching it up, showing you some other things as well. Um, in this package, I have included some Hello Small Things. Um, I think from Eric Small Things. Um, Tearaway paper sheets. I love these. I just absolutely adore these. And I want to give them also to friends for some, yeah. Maybe I'm including maybe i am including a note on one of these into the package i don't know yet but putting these aside then i've showed you already the dodo lulu um advent uh, number calendar that i've put aside and you have seen some of the um washi card samples so in this package Putting, I thought about packing it in this envelope, but probably I'll switch that out. These two shall go to the same person, I have decided. I think they are fitting together perfectly with the teal and with the stitching pattern. Yeah. And then... By the way, if you haven't figured out yet, this will be a rambling video. <laughs> And then I've put together some of the ink samples that I have um, gathered from my um, sorting. I think what I want to do is actually putting these swatch cards in some kind of envelope. But yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can do that. Um, if not, I can use the envelope for something else if the size doesn't fit and then next to me there is some box 
and I'll show you. I don't know if you can see, but basically this is an IKEA box where I am storing. Um, it's it fits like a four size paper, and in here I'm storing some smaller book binding supplies as well as papers and like this um, book cloth. And I already have some paper bits in there, so I wanted to sort through and see if I can make some um, envelope out of these. Maybe this. The size would be great, but it's kind of boring. These are, have a kind of weird um, shape to them. I'm gonna try a um, an origami envelope that I've done already, and in the thing I watched, like uh, in the in the video I've watched um, to follow, like, like the tutorial, they have said like um, you would need a um, sheet of square paper. So yeah. This maybe, how big is this? Let's measure it on the side. It's like yeah, nearly 12 centimeter high. I don't know, I think that's too small. Mm. What do we have then? This is also really pretty. Uh, by the way, this is Italian paper, um, but I cannot remember exactly what. Yeah, I have cut this to size already for some project. Maybe I'm just using it now. Maybe. It would be 18 centimeters. So maybe I could do, yeah, one. Maybe I can I could do some in different sizes and see and then also use them for different things. I don't know. For other gifts. Also for family or whatever. Okay. Let's see. I think down there there's more like book cloth and stuff. Yeah. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff. But this is just the peak. Um, I have very, a lot of different like book binders cloth because when I bought my press, I think you've never seen the press, but um, well, I know, especially over YouTube, I haven't shown it yet, but um, I have a big, big, big um, steel press. And the press, um, when I when I um, got it from from the bookbinders, I went to the like um, the office, not the office. My brain today again. Um, the bookbinder that sold me the press. This is what I wanted to say. Also had this stack of like bits and pieces that were quite big like you can see these are just the, the smaller ones i still have in my um in my uh drawer i still have like loads more so um this is not only from that um book binder so um this is also bits and pieces that are leftovers from my um like from the stuff i bought um at the book binding supply store but yeah it's a lot it is a lot yeah i don't know maybe people like in the book bind not not book binding community in the hey love this but it like the glitter gets everywhere everywhere you cannot imagine um hmm this maybe yeah you see lots of them are just plain okay um so putting this 
aside. I need some um, cutter, some box cutter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when I searched for my ruler, I actually found these. And I think they're so much fun. Um, so I think I want to include some in my happy mail. Yeah, so I'll put these also aside. Um, I have found my ruler. Where is my, here's my box cutter. And I think I want, just want to um, prepare different en envelopes in different sizes. Um, where are we? We have like five. Ten, fifteen, eighteen, eight. I'm just doing it like this because I'm okay with this not being as perfect. Eighteen. Okay, I actually think I'm content with these little squares for now. I can still do more afterwards, but I think for now I'm just doing the envelopes and then see how they are coming out. I am not content with this. <laughs> um, this feels weird. Okay. Can I do something to improve this? Can I cut something? Do I want to cut something? I mean, of course, I can put some washi tape on top, but it's it seems like I've done something wrong. So yeah, it really feels puffy. So I've always used the bone folder for everything. So, and I also try to be as exact as possible. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wanna try a different method now. I mean, it's cute. And also the size, these tickets would actually fit inside perfectly. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'm doing a second one and if it wouldn't have been such a thick paper and um, such, such a small project right at the beginning, Maybe it would have been easier and it wouldn't be as puffy. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see.
Okay, so I have done the 18 to 18 centimeter um, sheet of paper and folded it into the envelope. And as you can see, what comes out of this is a um, 12 point something um, width and a 9.5 probably in height. So, yeah, this also got quite puffy and I'm not content with this as a design. Like, I like that the envelope um, came out and that I have one now, but I'm not as content with the folding uh, method. So, I think I want to try some different tutorial um, and see how that works. Okay. I've actually finished the second envelope and it has a really like funny um, um, size, like it's very long and very um, thin, but I actually like this way more than um, the other designs. So I think I will continue doing this. Um, maybe I can even use some other scraps in some different um, in some different shapes, so that some yeah funny um, envelopes would come out of this. That's so funny. Okay, it kind of looks like there is a belt. <laughs> so yeah, in comparison to these, these seem to um, close much better because this is only the one piece of um of paper that closes the envelope and this is has some folded piece in there they are a bit more time intensive but i think they will be worth it my gosh this is so sweet this is so small i didn't know that i could do something so something so small with my hands but it's as you can see i really think i got it with the um um with the pattern you can see that it's it looks really nice and square it's not as puffy and the flap is nice. It's a really, really small flap. But oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Let me see. Maybe I can put in this. Is this fitting? Oh my gosh, and it's fitting. So actually what I could do is cutting these, uh, cutting the strip in like um, one piece. Um, all up and then try to fit in all the 25 of this uh, PET pictures so yeah I could do this oh my gosh that's so much fun I want to do more of these without damaging the envelope right in the beginning oh my gosh how big is this it's nearly square i have no idea which dimensions i use but whatever it's beautiful it's so beautiful okay
So I think my camera start like stopped in the middle of it, but um, this is also so cute. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to put these next to each other. It's even smaller in height. Like, oh my gosh. And then I have this, which is kind of the same size. This and this. Okay. Okay, I have actually not done, uh, like folded all the paper through to the um, very, very tiny bits and pieces because as you can see, the envelopes got really, really, really small. And I mean, I adore these, but these are only like three and a bit centimeters square. So... Um, I didn't see the point. This is like four and a bit centimeters. Um, so I didn't, didn't see the point to do even more. But what I've done is I folded all of these. Some of these you've seen. Some of these I've done off camera. Um, and I have put, like for example, in this one, I have cut all the PT with the Dodolulu um, Christmas calendar. Um, and it fits perfectly into this small envelope. So this, for example, is the first. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's so small. Like, I do not have as big hands. It's three and a bit in height and five centimeters wide so it's really small so yeah there is some dololulu um pt tape in there then we have one with some um <laughs> kiss tickets <laughs> um oh so really really sweet a bit longer next we have this bigger one where i have put in both because it's actually one of the biggest envelopes and with this nice paper i thought i could just put in both both things oh my gosh things so 
so this is that and then next we have this gray envelope also with some kiss tickets have you seen have i shown you already what is written on the back i need to yeah i need to show you um ticket does not expire ticket tickets may be redeemed in multiples disclaimer the manual exchange of tickets shall constitute a separate agreement between the bearer and the redeemee who assume all liability for any side effects including but not limited to relationship enhancement fun manifestation and or affection intensification <laughs> i think that's so fun that it's written um on the back <laughs> so this is I'm putting in here. I don't even need some washi tape. These are really um, working great. And then last we have um, another Dodolulu um, PT tape in um, this petrol color envelope that I have folded at the very beginning. Yeah, and then on the other side need to sort real quick um i've seen that the um hello small things um papers are fitting quite well in the biggest envelope that i've made so um yeah i think i'll leave it um like this uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for hopping in into this very small uh, random rambling video. And I hope you're doing well. I hope I'm seeing you the next time. As you know, I'm not committing to any schedule whatsoever. So if you want to know if there are other videos coming out, um, please, if you haven't yet, um, click the subscribe button and um, show me that you like the video. Um, see you later. Bye.